Hello my gorgeous fire signs and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Um, we did have a couple of jumpers here. So we have the Eight of Cups, the Moon in Reverse, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. What this is kind of telling me is that you might be off in search of what emotionally fulfills you this week. It could be something to do with a job or a relationship. Could go either way. But I feel like it's not a secret that you have to go off in search of whatever this new opportunity is. It's like whatever was sitting around before is just not it. It's not happening or it's just not what you want anymore. So we do have that page of pentacles. We're going in search of that new opportunity, that planted seed so we can nurture it and get where we want to go and live that experience that we want to live and it's like we know we have to put in that time that effort that energy to get it to go where we want it to be so I think we're going to build off this let's see yeah um we do have the devil and then we had the ace of pentacles so what I'm kind of getting is you may be leaving toxicity behind. It could be a toxic relationship, could be a toxic work environment. Um, you could be doing that this week, moving out of the way of snakes, even if it's in the workplace or in the friend group or in the relationship. It's, I think, I kind of feel like it's seeing these snakes very clearly and, um, being able to understand that that's not what we want. It's not going to get us where we're going. Um, so we have this Ace of Pentacles here. It's that new seed, that new planted seed. Yeah, I, I feel like this might be something where you have to move and go off in search of um, by yourself and not in a pair. Yeah, we have that Queen of Roses. So I feel like you're looking good. I feel like you're passionate, you're moving forward, um, and you know, it may be causing a little bit of jealousy this week as well. Um, might be really riling up those snakes this week. I don't know if you're just looking good or you, you look like you have it all this week. It's like, I don't know if you're just standing tall in that really gorgeous energy, whether masculine or feminine. It's like you're attractive. And, and I feel like you're attracting a lot of attention this week as you move. Yeah, we have that king of swords. You may be leaving someone in the past. Now, I did hear boss, so it could be a boss for some. It could be a relationship or a friend, friendship that you might have to leave in the past. Yeah, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So, you know, we don't want to miss out on that opportunity to really um, harvest the things that we've worked for. And I feel like you've put the work in and you deserve to get the payout. Yeah. Look at that. Ten of swords. I feel like it's no more suffering in that situation, whatever it is, particularly for you, whether it's friends a romantic love interest or, um, just the job that's, that's not feeling right. Yeah, I, I feel like we're tired of not having the victory that we deserve. And I feel like because of this, you're going to get the victory. I want to put this in the upright. I feel like you're definitely going to get the victory that you're after because you're not giving up. You're nurturing something. You're really cultivating it with that queen there. Yeah, look, I feel like, you know, when you follow your passions, you follow your purpose, a lot of times that puts you in alignment for the right partner as well. So if you have to leave something old to step into something new, you could be doing that this week, could be making that change over. Oh, I love it. Look at the sun. All right, we've got happiness and warmth coming in. I feel like you're happy with the decisions that you've made. Um, I feel like I, I hear thus far and into the future. I feel like you've got the right. Yeah, you're at a hanged man. I feel like you maybe were putting yourself on pause because you wanted to, you know, see things from all angles to make sure you were making the right decision. And I feel like you most certainly have. Oh, I love it. Yes. Passionate moving forward. You're making the judgment call. And look at you with your new emotional beginning. I feel like this could be with a new person. 
Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's just a fresh new start. It's just that opportunity to follow your heart and whatever, wherever it kind of leads you. I feel like there's big transformation with all those butterflies that are really standing out to me. And there's a purity there as well. It's you really knowing what you want. I feel like you're putting sleepless nights behind you. I feel like there was someone or a couple of someones who were kind of throwing a wrench into the works for you. I don't know if it was just plain out of jealousy. It could be. I was kind of getting that. There were some jealous snakes back here. Um, and I feel like they wanted to keep you stuck. The, you know, it's, it's really sad, but there are people out there who don't want to see you rise, who don't want to see you elevate and shine. Um, unless, you know, they're going with you. And if they can't go with you, then they're going to try and stop you. There are people like that out there. So, um, you might come in contact with a soulmate as well. Could be a fire sign, king of wands. Doesn't have to be. Could just be someone in a king of wands energy. Um, so whether masculine or feminine, they might have those, those qualities. Um, so that could be coming in this week as well. All right, fire signs. Doesn't look bad. Um, it does look like you just probably decided to put your foot down and um, move in a new direction, which I love. I feel like it was probably much needed. All right, let's see what we've got here. I want to do just a little bit more. Um, could be an X that was kind of bugging you because that was standing out to me. Your X could have an M name. Hear the name Mike or a D. All right. I heard the name Victor. And I did hear something about Cancerian energy, and I see it now right there. Three weeks or three months, you may have someone new coming in, a soulmate. I was seeing this and then the soulmate. Um, I hear the name Keith. Something about NNP. keep hearing A for last name, so I don't know if it's you or someone you're dealing with. All right. I heard you, yes, you, or I owe you. Um, I owe you. So someone may be actually coming in with an apology. Um, oh, could be someone with an N name. Q, X, H, S, a six or a nine and a G could be significant. Yeah, that N keeps standing out. So somebody with an N could be coming in to apologize, first or last name. All right. Um, little ghosty hook to my sweater. This could be, there could be someone in here that ghosted you as well. Um, that could be someone who's coming back to uh, give you an apology. Wow. Um, you know, normally I see this in the relationship aspect of things, but I kind of feel like it goes with this little sailboat here and this fresh new beginning. This I feel like Divine's on deck for you. I feel like they've been trying to open doors for you so you can get where you want to be or to a place where you feel comfortable and happy with where you are in life. I do feel like this has to deal with work and monetary abundance and probably relationships too, but I feel like it's just kind of, you want to be right and, uh, good in all areas. And I feel like that's something you've maybe been praying for or asking for. Um, and I feel like that is coming in for you. The opportunities may start this week for that. You may also have someone coming in that loves you to the moon back is what I've heard. <laughs> and somebody who's very sweet to you, actually. We have that little teddy bear there. You may have somebody coming in that wants to comfort you or nurture you or just be really, really sweet and kind to you. I feel like they want to create change. Could be a past person. Doesn't have to be. Could be a newer person that just sees that you need a little bit of sunlight and warmth in your life. They could be wanting to provide that for you. 
We have that Pegasus. So that's that movement forward. I, I honestly kind of want to put it here. I feel like um, that movement forward is coming in very swiftly. And I feel like it's just going to sweep you into the future. Oh, look at that. Here's more of that love you to the moon and back energy. Um, yeah, this one has the star. This one has the heart. I kind of feel like someone's seeing you as that North Star or they're seeing you as a star. Um, also... <laughs> If you're a fire sign, you could be heading towards stardom. It's like, I don't know if you've been shooting for the stars, because I kind of hear that saying, it's like, shoot for the stars and land among them. I feel like, and become one of them, is kind of what I hear. It's like, there's more to it. I feel like somebody could be getting close to that, I don't know, I hear the silver screen, or um, you may be catching a role in something. Um, I don't know. It could be a small part, but something that gets your foot in the door. It, it does have that type of energy coming in. I really love that. I, I hear supporting cast. So I don't know if like you're just starting out somewhere. I feel like you're happy to start anywhere. Now, this doesn't have to be uh, on TV or in the movies somewhere. This could be uh, in music. Um, I am hearing someone sings. I'm hearing dance. I don't know if choreography is something I'm hearing. Yeah, it's some type of music. I don't know if it's a new type of music and I hear breakout artists. So I don't know if your your type of music is just a touch different. Like it, it incorporates different elements is kind of what I'm hearing. Um, and I feel like it's really gonna catch on really fast and, and get big really fast for whoever it's for. I feel like networking right now um, is is an absolutely amazing idea. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like spirits on deck. I feel like you're being watched over with the people that you're meeting, maybe in the industry, um, wherever that may be for you. I feel like you're making great connections and I feel like it's going to be very, very abundant for you. I really love that. I don't know if someone has been manifesting this because I heard manifestation with the witch. Um, so I don't know if somebody's been utilizing candle magic or just manifestation. Um, I'm not going to go into how I feel that that is absolutely witchcraft, but you know, <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing. In fact, I'm one of those people that doesn't think witchcraft is a bad thing. Um, I feel like there's a lot of light involved in it as well. I feel like it is in the heart of the practitioner always. Um, and that's the same thing with those who are spiritual or uh, those who go to church on Sundays. You know, it's, it's a personal choice to be that good person and to hold yourself to certain standards. Anyway, I don't know why I had to say that here, but I feel like if you're practicing and you're manifesting, you're doing a really great job because it is putting you into alignment with where you want to be. Okay, in a really beautiful way, I might add. Okay, that is what I have for you, fire signs. Until next time, bye.